Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will go in uh, to two Russian village which are uh, called Abukhavka and Yelizavetinskaya. houses uh, this uh, village now is full in uh, life full life in this uh, village uh, there are many young uh, people live here uh, so how live uh, uh, village now as you can see not very bad in the Soviet times uh, this uh, place uh, had uh, port facilities here begins uh, the territory of the Kaga terminal and the Abukhovskaya shipyard. Uh, the plant was founded in 1932, uh, was engaged in the repair of the fishing fleet of the Rostov region. And uh, in the 80s years of um, 20th century, it was considered one uh, of the largest enterprises in our region. But then became the 19th um, years of 20th century and both uh, the fishing farms and the plan uh, was into decay. Uh, but now I must say that the situation has begun to change and workshops have been repaired, equipment have been, has been restored and uh, some specialists have returned uh, to the enterprise and uh, today the plant's capacities allow repair and fishing and research vessels, tugs, uh, barges, uh, yachts, uh, boats. Uh, during the inter-navigation period uh, the beds of uh, Buchowska are used for weighing the fleet and um, as you can see, uh, <laughs> the boats <laughs> are fleet here. The main attraction in a Bukhovka of course is a church. It is uh, the oldest uh, church in uh, the south of Russia. It was uh, founded in uh, 1861 and it is um, uh, a church uh, that was never closed and it was uh, very difficult in Soviet time. Uh, original people of uh, this village, uh, uh, they uh, don't want to close it and uh, they can uh, to uh, stay uh, this uh, church and not uh, destroy it.
we go to the village Yelizavetinskaya. More than 2,000 years ago, there was a large cultural and commercial center of the Scythians, an administrative, religious and craft center which occupied a large area. In the 4th century BC, the settlement served as the main regional center, as Rostov and Don now. Uh, this city was a uh, a part of a Bosporan kingdom. The city was built according to a predetermined plan with the temples and other public buildings, with a clear system of streets and a breakdown into, into quarters. Uh, the territory of the settlement was uh, surrounded by defensive ditches and uh, embankments. There were barrel grounds nearby. But uh, now, uh, of course, it was uh, all destroyed as a Bosporan kingdom, and now it is uh, just a little village uh, that uh, I think in uh, now into decay, <laughs> and we can see uh, just uh, some. <laughs> Uh, houses and uh, old uh, houses of Cossacks. Uh, later uh, was founded uh, the modern village, which uh, live uh, now here. Uh, by It was founded uh, by a uh, village on the door and uh, later uh, Cossacks uh, came uh, here uh, from uh, Azov region. Today the um, uh, old houses of merchant Cossacks, uh, men's and women's uh, schools, the Ataman's estate, uh, the Cossack yard administration, uh, uh, but um, now this village is into decay uh, many bond estates, many as for the sale of real estate. Since uh, the fast and convenient water transport from Azov and Rostov stopped going here, and uh, the older generation of retired summer residents left, there has been a decline. Um, in the center of the island there is now a huge uh, west wind, but there is the former maiden of the village and once her public wife was in full swing here. There was a market, uh, churches, uh, Cossacks held meeting, meetings. But there are no paved roads, uh, sidewalks, uh, traffic lights, traffic jams, industry, only endless uh, water meadows, someone's tangled vegetable gardens, uh, bridges, ditches, and water from all sides. Just uh, 
summer cottages. So uh, back of me you can see uh, Viva Chebuhavka. Uh, I think uh, that um, it is um, uh, Vivash uh, shows us uh, uh, their uh, true orthodox of uh, Russia and uh, you uh, can feel uh, the um, Russian spirit, true Russian spirit in this uh, place uh, where our neighbors know each other, where they visit each other, celebrate holidays and organize this, where you can see uh, folklore uh, uh, holidays and celebrations. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, the uh, Russian soul because you see a river, village and of course a church. So I very love you, subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see in uh, new videos. Bye bye!